Here is a quick video explaining how to control things using the Watchmon and Batrium BMS. Um, in this case, the contactors which switch off my house battery. So, down here is the heart of the Batrium BMS, the Watchmon board. And then over to the side is another board, which is the expansion board. It has many functions, including these four relays here, these black boxes. And from the red lights, you can see two of them are switched on. Now then, they are just automatic switches. The switches are controlled by this, but they themselves don't have power going to them. So you need to provide power for the, basically you need to put them into a circuit that has power in it and they can switch that circuit. So one of those two is used to switch my contactors which break the power from the battery. So that's the power going into or coming out of the battery, going through a couple of very big fuses, and then down underneath into two contactors for plus and minus before they come then into each end of this battery. Now I can't really show you the contactors because they are buried and I'm not taking this apart today. One thing I can tell you, they came from the Nissan Leaf and so they are 12 volts. This battery is more or less 60 volts, and so if you gave the power to them to control them direct from this battery, you would blow them. So what I have instead is this little thing here, which is a Alibaba or Banggood or something like that, 60 volt to 12 volt power supply. So I bring 60 volts in over here, and I get 12 volts out. Now that 12 volts then comes through these relays, one of which goes and switches the contactors there, and the other one runs the cooling fan if things are too hot in here. So that's the wiring side of it. Basically you need to get something to provide you with 12 volts, run it through the relay, and then run it to whatever you want switched on with the 12 volts. Now obviously if it's your main contactors, you need to have this power supply on the side that isn't switched by the contactors. So it's, it's going to draw a little bit. So you could still run your battery flat even with contactors off because you're running that power supply all the time. Now then, once you've got the wiring done, you then need to know how to make it happen. So here we go to the menu and we go to hardware. Then we go over to expansion. And here we have what happens with the different relays. So relay one, critical battery okay. So as long as the all of the things on the BMS on the critical page are happy, this will go blue and the relay over there will be on which means the contactors will be on, which means you have power coming out of your battery. As soon as it goes wrong, it will switch those contactors off. Important side note here, contactors generally are not great at switching high currents. And the ones that I've used from the Leaf, they are designed to be a part of the Leaf hardware. And the Leaf is very clever, the Leaf system I should say, not the Leaf hardware. The Leaf has got a lot of good control and so it almost never will be switching on or off when there is a high demand on those contactors, when they will be high current. So essentially, it will never cause sparks. Um, where I've used it, and with some of the settings on my other gear being slightly wrong, I have caused sparks, which has mean, meant that my contactors have welded. So actually, this can't turn itself off at the moment, and that's kind of dangerous. Um, it's one of those things that I've got used to and I need to fix. When you're doing this, do not be like me. Either make sure that you have got the right control gear with the right settings on it so that you don't draw huge current when you first connect the contactors or get some much more expensive, much more heavy duty contactors that are up to switching the peak currents that you might see. All right, on with the show. So. Critical battery OK on relay one, and that's the one we've got wired to our contactors, which I'm sure by now you've made sure are correctly specified. 
But what does critical battery OK mean? Well, if we go back to control logic and we go to critical, the first one that opens, basically as long as all of these things are satisfied. So the lowest cell is higher than 2.7 volts. The highest cell is lower than 4.2 volts, etc. So as long as all that is happy, and again here, they've all got blues next to them to show that they are currently in the good side, then your critical will be on. Things like this, you can choose to ignore. So you see that's off as opposed to on. That's how you do it. Now, if you want to edit them, you can't just click on them. You first got to hit the edit button here. Then you go and faff with them and then you hit save and you'll need to put your password in. So that's, that's how you get the main thing done. You then got different options. So you've got loads more things that you can control. So over here, if we go back to our expansion board, we can have discharge and we can have cooling. Um, we can have, oh, I've got to hit the edit here as well. So here's a whole list of things. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that somebody has asked me how to do this. And they may well have asked me because Frankly, while this is a wonderful system, the bathroom system, it is very homemade still. The documentation is patchy, um, and I have struggled with that personally, so I can understand why other people may be struggling with it. And so, basically, spend some time. Their website provides some good information, um, but you have to infer a lot, and you have to learn a lot. And uh, hopefully this has given you a bit of an introduction into how to interact with the, the control logic side of it and how to wire it. But there is a lot, lot in there. You can have relays come on when, you're char when charging is okay, when discharging is okay, when things are too hot, when things are too cold. Um, you can get all kinds of things in there. You've just got to study it. Now, I can't answer specific questions on how to do this and how to do that. That is their job because they sell the software and the, and the hardware. Um, but I'm happy if you put questions at the bottom of this video. I'll try and answer them if they don't take too long and I'm either not too busy or I'm meant to be doing something that isn't interesting. I'd be really happy if other people would answer the questions if they know the answer. Similarly, if they know a better way of doing the things I've shown you here, it would be good for them to say so. So yeah, I hope that's helped and um, give us some feedback and share your videos of how you've used the Batrium, share resources and let's keep not burning electricity, uh, try again, let's keep this revolution going where we use old batteries to avoid burning fossil fuels, it's brilliant, everything in here, I've got bikes that are real transport i've got a thing that's more or less a motorbike i've got my ride on mower i've got cars none of it uses fossil fuels it's magic most of it runs off my roof okay evangelizing over i hope that video was useful goodbye